Hi, uh, this is Akang Hadi from Batam, Indonesia. Today I want to make the replacement of NSL32. This is a uh, opto isolator that uh, this component is normally using for Apex Apex uh, audio amplifier. But actually you can use for any other application. Okay, let us see what is inside in this NSL32. Uh, NSL32 originally inside it uh, got one LED that uh, optically couple into the photo cell. This photo cell uh, resistance is going too low when the LED is uh, current on LED is on, and then uh, this uh, LED, LED if uh, LED current is off, and this uh, resistance in the photo cell is uh, will uh, will increase. Is uh, so it is the photo cell resistance is a uh, play up and down for resistance is depend on this uh, LED brightness or LED or, or LED signal any signal to LED will affect it to the resistance of this uh, of the uh, of this photo cell okay uh, so how to get this replacement uh, I will make uh, something like this uh, this is uh, LDR and this is a uh, red LED and then this is uh, we cover with uh, heat shrink tubing but uh, anyway you have to get this uh, red LED only the red LED only that can on in 1.6 volt because uh, for, for what voltage for maximum for original NSL32 is or uh, 2.04 that is the maximum voltage so uh, we have to find out that the LED in the market that can on in one uh, uh, under uh, 2 volt so I found that uh, 1.6 volt is on uh, it's only for the red LED but uh, you you have to find out even the red LED as so some of them is on uh, at the 2.0 fold so you make sure your LED for this project must on at the 1.6 fold or under 2 fold it's much better is 1.5 but it's hard to get so a 1.6 fold on is is okay already uh, okay and then uh, let uh, prepare the, uh, wh whatever we need for this project. Okay, this is the parts that you need for uh, replacement of uh, NSL32. So in here, uh, got one LED, red LED. I already tried. This is uh, will on at uh, 1.6 volt, and then uh, one LDR. This is very common, so easy to get uh, nearby this uh, your electronic shop. This is very common. And then uh, the heat shrink tubing. Heat shrink tubing, uh, the long is uh, 1.5 cm or 15 mm. Okay. Uh, then uh, you need the uh, one epoxy or any power glue the black color so later on this uh, epoxy will cover up this uh, both side <coughs> to avoid leakage of the light from outside and go to inside there is will not represent the correct value of uh, this uh, LDR okay let I prepare this uh, before we start uh, also, you need some equipment for measurement after you complete uh, to uh, build this uh, NSR32 replacement. Uh, you need one uh, DC power supply and then one of uh, multimeter or ohmmeter. 
that is whatever you need this is only for the sample and test uh, the result of uh, our project and of course for uh, heat up this uh, heat string tubing we need one of uh, uh, hot air any hot air you can use uh, you, we, we, you can use okay one hot air to make this string warp both, uh, both this component uh, LDR and uh, LED okay let me start okay first uh, you put in this LED is uh, to inside this uh, tubing okay you push and left a, f a few of few space for put the power glue letter on and then uh, you put this uh, LDR okay uh, you put until they meet face by face inside there okay something like this and then we firm both of them with uh, <coughs> hot air and prepare the hot air So we will make they are joined with this hot air. Okay, firm already. Uh, the tubing already wrapped both of them and then next is uh, put this uh, uh, epoxy for both side <coughs> why I put the epoxy because if you not put epoxy inside this uh, the, the, is this uh, two edge of this uh, component then the outside light still can interfere to uh, uh, the value resistance to this uh, LDR so the outside uh, light will affect it to this uh, LDR then we don't want to, to get that one right we want only affect it because of signal in LED not because the outside light uh, interfere to this uh, LED so now uh, I want to put this uh, epoxy the black color epoxy to both sides okay now I will put the epoxy a little bit only a little bit epoxy okay uh, make sure uh, blocking the edge of this uh, component uh, okay we put a little bit only yeah. Okay, something like this. Okay, the other side. Okay, make it uh, a bit tidy. Is finished already. Now the NSL replacement NSL 32 is finished. Uh, one is uh, side is LDR and the other side is uh, LED. So don't forget uh, to to make sure uh, one short and one long for uh, the pin. Uh, the short one for minus and the long one for plus. So don't make it infected or orientation wrong orientation will spoil the LED uh, or LDR there is no orientation so you can put anyway okay let's we try with our measurement whether this is uh, correct uh, and working or this is fail is fail maybe something wrong with uh, inside here uh, that's why uh, before you start you make sure everything is uh, the board component is clean okay now it's time for test uh, for this NSL32 
replacement. See uh, how it's uh, connection. This LDR is connect to multimeter in uh, uh, this in on position for resistance, and then the LED uh, connect to DC power supply. Don't forget the short one is minus and then the long one is plus. I start the voltage from zero. Okay, see how do any change? So uh, we set the range to the low one. I set to two. Okay, two kilo ohm. Okay, see how the change. I start the voltage uh, in the zero, but uh, of way they set the the the, the current uh, as low as possible as I set in uh, this current is point oh fifteen it's okay hundred fifteen milliamp okay we we increase the voltage slowly and see any change nothing change okay then maybe you asking uh actually in this position how many ohm the LDA resistance okay uh be before we start with the voltage we try to find out in this position it means the LED is in off there is no signal to LED so the uh <coughs> the LDR resistance is of course is must in very high uh resistance you see in mega ohm also I can't I, I can't read so I have to use my other the other uh, multimeter uh, I will to prepare for this one so the resistance of our LDR our LDR I think this is uh, in, in, in this situation uh, is uh modern uh, 20 and more than 20 mega ohm because uh, in 20 mega ohm is still not displayed anything there okay now we start to increase the voltage to ldr see any change on the resistance uh, we set until 1.6 No display yet. One point four, one point five. Okay, now already display is uh, two hundred, two hundred plus uh, kilo ohm. So we set until uh, maximum. Maximum according to specification of the NSL32 is a uh, two fold. Okay. Oh, try to get the two fold, two fold and change the ring lower. So uh, in this two fold is only hundred, hundred eighty uh, ohm, hundred eighty something ohm. Okay. So uh, our circuit is working. So if decrease again, we decrease the voltage. Okay, see how what is happen. Nine hundred. So if you decrease the voltage to LED, and then uh, the value of uh, LDR will increase. Okay, how many ohm in one point seven? We check here is four kilo ohm try to uh, decrease until 1.6 okay 1.6 is uh, 60 66 or uh, 65 kilo ohm so it means our project is done and then the replacement for this uh, NSR32 is work as what we are expected okay this uh, project is done then actually not just for epics power amplifier 
you can uh, use for any other application okay rather than you buy this NSL or uh, quite expensive for replacement also quite expensive so you just use whatever lying around the component electronics in uh, your home okay thank you for watching uh, good luck to you and then bye bye